going on tonight? Hello, welcome, welcome. It's Thursday, July the 16th of 2020. Welcome everyone. We should be live right now. We should be good with our stream. All right, I'm gonna check that out, make sure we're good to go. Uh, but it looks like we are golden. Everything is good. Welcome everybody. We are live yet again uh, on Facebook, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, as well as over at the leadershiptkostation.com's website. Good evening. And so this is the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. And so I am Lakeisha McKnight, your leadership specialist, your wealth mentor, your author. All right. Okay. And so I am, yes, an author of this amazing book right here, this amazing resource. It's the Leadership TKO book, 12 Truths to Implement to Become a Winning Leader, not just the leader, any old mediocre leader, not just an ordinary leader. We're talking about a winning leader and there's a lot behind winning. Okay. There's a whole psychology around winning. And so if you want to understand how that can be possible, I'm telling you, you want to grab yourself a copy of this book. And the way that you simply do it is by going to leadershiptko.com and you'll be able to grab several copies of the book if that's what you so choose. So again, I appreciate all the supporters of this particular book project. I'm looking forward, of course, to the next release of the next project that's going to be co-authored by my husband and I and many other amazing leaders around the world, and we're going to teach you about success. And so again, look forward, of course, to that release coming out pretty, pretty soon. I'll keep you all uh, posted as to when it will be launched, and we're going to do an official launch online for that book project. But, okay, but uh, what I will tell you is that this show goes live from my timeline here, Monday through Fridays, around somewhere close to 7.15, 7.30, depending on what we have going on for the evening. And so on Saturdays and Sundays, we go live at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, that's from my fan page, all right? And so the whole purpose of the show is to empower leaders like yourself right? With the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. So if you want to become an influential leader, stick around because I'm definitely going to make sure I infuse your brain (laughs) with some great content. And so the first thing that I normally start with is an appetizer. Anybody that knows me knows that I am a foodie. I'm proud to say that, okay? And so I love great food. But when I know that there is an appetizer that will get me ready and prepared, well, I'll take it, (laughs) okay? I'll take it. And so I'm gonna share with you a little appetizer on tonight. Let's let's get that appetizer served. And so what it is I do wanna share with you first before we dive into it, I'm gonna share with you some information. Another great law by one of my mentors, Dr. John Maxwell, And so let me go ahead and pull that up. All right. Looks like we are A-OK. So listen, I'm going to talk to you tonight about one of my favorite laws. It's the law of sacrifice. All right. The law of sacrifice. Listen, if you haven't liked or loved this stream yet, go ahead and do that. Also comment below. Anything that resonates with you, any questions you might have, post them below. And then lastly, Also, share this out. Don't be stingy now. Share it out, okay? Let others become inspired, empowered, okay, with the information shared during the stream. So the law of sacrifice simply says this. A leader must give up to go up. You have to give up to go up, all right? True leadership is not all about freedom, power, and wealth. It's not all about that. You see, it does require sacrifice, you know, to trade something of value that you possess for something even more valuable that you don't yet possess. You see, leaders may not even see the success from their sacrifices, but someone in the future will benefit from it. Now, let me give you a perfect example. Many people I'm connected to, we are wealth builders right? We are wealth builders. We are creating generational wealth. So we are believing, we wholeheartedly believe we have access to the real money. And it is true. We have access to real money. 
and some other assets and investments as well. But here's the deal, okay? We believe wholeheartedly in all that we are acquiring because we know that what we're building now will not only impact us now, but most importantly, our children and our children's children. We may not see a lot of this, okay? We hope to see it, but if we don't, okay, we believe that we're sacrificing now, we're giving up, we're delaying gratification, we're giving up certain things, right? So that our children and our children's children can have a better future. What are you willing to give up so that you can go up? It might be and it might be a negative habit. Okay? It could be that you're watching so much TV, you know, you get you know, trash in, trash out. Let's just be honest because most of the stuff that the media feeds is trash. Okay, it's trash. And so you got to take the trash out sometimes or it's going to start to... Right. So again, what are you willing to give up? Okay, what are you willing to give up? Understand something. And and, and it's going to be valuable to you. It might not be valuable to me what you're willing to give up. Okay, because we all have different things that we value. But what are you willing to sacrifice? Okay, it could be certain times, certain things that you do, activities that you've done, projects that you've launched, whatever it may be. But again, a leader must give up to go up. Because if you're not willing to give up, then you're not really wanting that goal. You're not really wanting to reach that next destination. And so the truth shall be revealed. Okay, we can talk a whole lot of game, but are we willing to walk the walk? That's the question. I like to say, most people probably hear me say this or when I type it in, I say, let your actions speak. Because a lot of people can say things. They can be in the motion of doing things all the time, but it never yields results because they're not doing anything. And so I let your action speak, right? Let your action speak. So again, the law of sacrifice simply says a leader must give up to go up. And so that's the appetizer that I wanted to share with you tonight. But guess what? We have a main meal, okay? I don't know what you like to eat, okay? But I'm about to feed you some network marketing nuggets. And so this information, we've been on a series uh, that's based upon a book that my mentors Mrs. Valerie and Ty Bess have published many years ago, and it's called 103 Ways to Fail in Network Marketing, A Guide to Your Success. A guide. Do you want to succeed as a network marketing professional? This book right here, I'm telling you, you need to read it, you need to digest it, you need to implement it, okay? Digest it and implement it. A lot of people read a lot of stuff and then they don't do anything with it. You got to digest and implement And so again, I'm going to be sharing with you another nugget tonight. It's going to be the 32nd way to fail in network marketing. I'm going to read it to you and expound on it based on my experience. I'm going to also invite you to a special something. I'm telling you, it's some good, it's a dessert. Okay. It's a dessert for this stream. And so stay tuned. So let me go ahead and read. Here's the 32nd way to fail in network marketing. Refuse to get professional help when needed. And then a sub part of that is if you have problems that need professional help, get it, get it. Here's what the best say furthermore. If you are depressed, getting divorced, or have just experienced some other personal crisis, which requires professional help, please seek it. Our industry is open to everyone. We are not prepared to counsel all problems, but we can be prepared to care. Always let your people know you care. And when it comes to problems that need professional help and you need to get it, this can include, it can include substance abuse like drugs or alcohol. You know, what they said is you're not fooling anyone. Get help before it is too late. All right. Some people I'm telling you, they can't do, it's like a whole lot of pressure 
where you feel like you got to do a thing and you put too much pressure on yourself. And some people have this concept of being a perfectionist where you're trying to get certain things done and it has to be done a certain way or else. And they can't handle the pressure. And so the way that a lot of, some people cope with it is they have these negative habits, whether it's smoking, whether it's drinking or any type of other addiction. Please understand anything that's not done in moderation, you can abuse it. Even though it's something good, you can abuse it, right? And so it impacts you and then everyone else around you. And so please understand, listen, we are human. You may be facing certain things in your life and we get it. Seasons are different for different people. But I encourage you for your well-being to get help, okay? It doesn't make you less of a person. It actually makes you stronger because you reached out for help when you do seek to get it. And so listen, I encourage you, everyone, don't try to sit there and ignore the issue. Don't refuse to get professional help when you need it. That is nugget number 32. I think it's self-explanatory. But there are a lot of people struggling, especially in this season of quarantine and social distancing that we're a part of. A lot of people are struggling. And you need someone to talk to. You need someone who can encourage you, inspire you. And so you have to take care of your whole well-being, your spiritual well-being, your physical well-being, your mental well-being, definitely your financial well-being, okay? You have to take care of these things, all right? If you don't take care of them, it's going to be neglected. And anything that's neglected, okay, I'm telling you, you don't want to see the end result of that, all right? And so, listen, I appreciate each and every one of you on tonight for tuning into the show. And so in addition to this, if, even if you need resources, like some of you, if you know some people who are struggling, all right, if you know someone who's struggling, listen, reach out. There are people who are professionals in different industries who can help you, who can point you in a direction to getting help. Some people don't know this, but yes, I am a licensed mental health professional by trade in the past, okay? And, you know, that's something that, that is really important to me because I'm connected to my women's empowerment group because of that license. And so listen, help is available. It's all a matter of you reaching out. Okay, reach out. So listen, many of my colleagues, including my husband, we're plugged into a wealth building system. Yes, we are. A wealth building system. And we positioned ourselves to be able to pass on generational wealth to our children and our children's children. We are in position where we can get paid five times a month or more, depending on how many accounts we have. So we're establishing residual income. And you have the opportunity to learn about this, okay? And you can fund your dreams. You can put, be put in a position where you can achieve financial freedom, even in the midst of all that's going on. So I encourage you to get back with the person that shared this stream with you. Let them know that you want information about creating residual income and doing it from home. And so I appreciate you all. And listen, if you're a wealth builder, I encourage you to jump on this five and five training. It's starting in four minutes. You're going to want to download the Zoom app and go to goldrocks.info. Make sure you get in contact with another fellow wealth builder for the password. Also, we do have a nine o'clock presentation that's taking place tonight. All right, tonight. We're going to try to stream it on Facebook. So for those of you Facebookers out there, definitely stay tuned onto somebody's timeline. We're going to stream it. Also, listen, if it doesn't stream, you want to make sure you jump on that Gold Rocks platform and get that password so you can join us there. But I appreciate each and every one of you on tonight. I really, really do. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for viewing this. You could be doing a million other things but you decide to support this show. Thank you so very much. And I'm hoping that you achieve great value and substance from what was shared tonight. We'll be back tomorrow night with a fresh episode here with the show. So until then, I encourage each and every one of you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night, everyone. God bless. And join me over at goldrocks.info for the five and five training.